welcome to episode 5 of Monster Madness. And in today's matchup, we have the Mega Kaiju versus Scylla. Now, Mega Kaiju stands at right around 500 feet tall, while Scylla stands at somewhere between 200 to 300 feet tall. It is worth noting, Scylla is a new kaiju and has very little screen time, but basically resembles a crab, spider, squid. Those are a lot of different creatures. Mainly a crab, spider, and squid is what it resembles. But the main weapons the Mega Kaiju goes into battle with is the two spiked tails, which are its probably most formidable weapon. It has the special power to absorb kinetic energy and redistribute it back out. It has the bite force, which is a big weapon. It has the two human proportion sized arms, which is used to pick up Jaegers and throw them around. And has the spiky back. Scylla comes into this battle with six legs, all of them having sharp ends to them. And that's basically its main weapon is just the use of the arms and then is able to emit liquid nitrogen then in the movie mega kaiju was able to take down all four jaegers in that movie and basically all scylla did in godzilla king of the monsters was destroy a building and i'm basically going to keep this short this is a very easy matchup this is obviously the one versus four but mega kaiju destroys scylla in this fight way bigger way more deadly it'd still be interesting to see these two line up and I don't think the size is far off as I thought before, because it depends on how Scylla is standing. At the end of the movie in Godzilla King of Monsters, Scylla looks taller with how he's standing with his legs. So I think they'd be closer in size than I was thinking, because I thought it was going to be really, really far off. Obviously, Mega Kaiju has a big size advantage, but I ultimately think Mega Kaiju will just absolutely wipe the floor of Scylla in this fight. We'll walk up, one stab of the tail will be done. And I really don't even think Scylla will be able to get a hit in because Mega Kaiju could ultimately just overwhelm Scylla with his size. And one stab, he's done. And one, if he just picks him up, he can bite him and he's done with one bite. I do think Scylla could cause some damage with those legs. They have sharp ends to them. And maybe he has some ability that would change something. But at this point, we couldn't really say it because we haven't seen it in the movies. But yeah, make sure you let me know down below who you think will win in this matchup. And the poll will be out soon to, to make sure you decide who moves on, Mega Kaiju or Scylla. Make sure you let me know then, and thanks for watching. <laughs>